The Denver Pioneers of Bill Tierney have now spent two whole days here in the city of Baltimore getting ready for Saturday's semifinal game against the Duke Blue Devils. The Pioneers about as ready as they're going to be, but it was a busy Friday. More practice, more interviews, all kinds of pregame preparation. Today is kind of the one that you're, uh, it's a crazy day and, and it's good crazy because, uh, you know, you're here. Uh, you know, there's a thousand things to do, the press conferences, the media stuff, the team, the event for the team tonight to do autographs and a big event at the Inner Harbor. But, uh, you know, whenever whenever we start to feel bad for ourselves with stuff like that, the uh, you, you very quickly consider the alternative, which is not to be here. And so it will take a little bit of uh, craziness just to, uh, to, to thank, be thankful for uh, the fact that we're here and we're blessed and uh, we're all together and representing the University of Denver in this great setting. Well, it, it's an awesome opportunity and you know, for our kids to be able to be part of something like this with school going on and the fact that they're doing their homework, they're, they're, they're awesome athletes as well as students is, is the best part of it for, for us as a family to say, hey, this is the way you're supposed to be. Amber with the matching moms the night before the big game for the Pioneers and Duke Blue Devils. We'll start with Mrs. Holst and uh, talk about the matching shirts first. Well, after we won last week, I quickly said, okay, who wants a t-shirt? And we only had limited number, but we got a small representation right oh, here. It's the Final Four, it's Championship Week. It's the Fab Four of mom shirts here. So uh, uh, let's let's talk about tomorrow's game. Your, your thoughts on uh, what the score might be. What the score might be. I'm going to say it is going to be 13 to 11. Ooh, yes. Do you? That's a of very course. logical, yeah. non parrot type of score. Good and for no you. One well done. Thing again. No one. No one thing. Thing. Yeah. Uh -uh. <laughs> all right. No well, let's talk about the second trip to Baltimore. Of course, the Pioneers were here two years ago. Just talk about your excitement as a mom or a parent with dad and whoever coming to watch such a game like this. Oh my gosh, the last three weeks from you know North Carolina and Drexel to here, it's just so exciting. And to see these boys arrive on a jet and get the police escorts and signing autographs, it's just really a special time. You know, it really is. When you talk about lacrosse and maybe not getting the recognition of other major sports, but it certainly has arrived as a major sport. And as a mom, it's got to be really kind of gratifying to see this kind of kind of reaction to this sport. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, just looking at all the people that are here tonight, getting autographs from the boys and the excitement about the games tomorrow, it's been fantastic. There's a lot of coverage on ESPN and, and uh People are going to, you know, continue to love Denver lacrosse for a long time to come. So the pregame festivities are just about over. Tomorrow, the Pioneers begin their quest for their first ever national championship here in Baltimore. We'll have a lot more coverage following tomorrow's game. Until then, so long from Baltimore. Yeah!